Hello. Hey. Are you all having fun? How's the newlyweds? Uh, well, we're newlyweds. Still newlyweds. You know, Colton, I see you at the hospital all the time, and we never have a chance to talk. Well, they keep me pretty busy on the medic van, you know. Why don't you two join us? Yeah, uh, you should. We've got a great table here. We know the owner. Um... <laughs> well, we'd love to, Tony, but we're going to have a quiet little dinner all by ourselves. Just another time, okay? You got a deal. Okay, sorry. Have fun. Okay. Thanks for the invitation, though. You didn't mind that, did you? Mind what? That we didn't have dinner with Tony and Valerie? Oh, no. No, actually, I think... It might be a little difficult for Tony and I to engage in small talk at this point. I say hello to Robin and Catherine for me. And uh, please tell Commissioner Scorpio how much I admire him for showing such uh, courage in that robbery. Yes. Okay. Goodbye, Alan. Take care. Goodbye. Oh, Frisco. Hi. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, me too. Are you okay? Honey, I've never been better. Oh. Frisco. Did uh, Terry just say my brother's name? Yeah, your brother just walked in. How's he look? I think he's drunk, Tony. You sure? No, but he doesn't look real steady on his feet. Listen, why don't you... I would like a double brandy, please. Maybe I'd better go give a little brotherly advice. Do you want me to walk you over there? Uh, no, just tell me where he is. He's around the corner at the bar, first door on the left. Got it? I'll be right back. Terry has a new minion. It all looks so delicious. Yeah, I guess if you're hungry. So, how's it going, little brother? Well, hey. Come on, sit down. Join the celebration here. That's what I'm doing. Exactly what are we celebrating? Well, I'm alive. Legally, huh? Let's hear it for me. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Now, why don't you take this celebration home? Oh. Give me another one of those. Same brand. It was awful. Tony, I'm allowed to have a little fun, aren't I? Just a little fun, okay? Thanks. Thank you for coming. I've asked uh, Nick to hang up here and we're going to do a little sweet thing for you. Um, Thank like to see your performance, huh? Come on, Mr. Marine. Lay it on me, will you? Let's see your stuff. Turn me loose. You love me. Please don't do this. Don't. You've got an empty target right here looking at you. Right here. Colton, don't. I got some words of advice for you, Oh, great. Let's hear it, man. Come on. Number one, when you're in the middle of the war, and believe me, you are. I am. Don't let your guard down, not for one second. 
Don't let your guard down. Yeah, I heard that. Don't lose control. Uh huh. And don't play games with the opposition. Why don't you just go home and get some sleep? Why don't you go home, huh? I think I'll go home. Let's go. Okay, please, everybody, just please resume to your eating. This, this is okay. We're gonna get it together, okay? I'm fine. Thank you. Fine. Thank you all very much. Thank you for the ride. I'm fine now. Um, do you mind waiting in the car? I just need to talk to him first. Not at all. Night. I don't want to hear any lectures. I don't want to hear any of that from you. I'm not going to lecture you. You're big enough to take care of yourself. That's right. I am big enough to take care of myself. So why don't you just go and take your pretty little girlfriend home? Would you do that for me, please? Uh, first of all, I want you to know that you're trying to get yourself killed. Are you referring to Mr. Marine? Absolutely. You pushed him right to the limit tonight. Well, maybe that's what I was trying to do. He's not some little frightened man that you can intimidate with your taunts, you know. He's dangerous. He could kill you. He's already tried that, Tony, and he didn't get the job done. Well, he might be good enough now. You think so, do you? Mm -hmm. Tonight, Valerie and I went for a walk on the dock. And we saw Colton at this Pete's gun shop. And he was outside, and you know what he was doing? He was looking at the guns in the display case. But he wasn't just looking at them. He was like feeding himself on the side of him. It was like he was hypnotized. Well, so what? I mean, I don't know. Maybe the guy has got a, you know, a well, hardware. Don't you understand it? He can be as dangerous to you as Domino can be dangerous to you. Well, glory be. Huh? I mean, what the hell you think I've been trying to tell everybody since I've been back? I mean, nobody sees what I know. The guy's a cold-blooded killer, Tony. Good. And you're going to convince them by getting yourself killed by him? Are you all right? Yeah. I'm so sorry about what happened. That's OK. It wasn't your fault. He was so crazy. I've never seen him so crazy like that before. Yeah, well, I think there's a lot of things that uh, you've never seen about Frisco that you're going to be seeing now. Somebody lost their hat. Yeah, well, uh, Casey comes back looking for him. Maybe we should leave it here, huh? Come on, let's go.